Can water droplets be cut in half? A brilliant experimenter with a sharp blade tried it, and something fascinating happened. Usually, knives are used to cut solids. But what happens if you try to cut a liquid with a knife? You might assume that after being cut, the water would simply rejoin. But is that really the case? The experimenter prepared two very thin wires to hold a droplet of water in place. Then, using a dropper, a droplet was placed between the wires. At this point, it looked like the water droplet was held together. Next, the wires were pulled apart, stretching the water droplet. Then, the experimenter used a knife to slice through the middle of the droplet. And, unexpectedly, the water was actually split in half and didn't rejoin, just like slicing a piece of bread. To make the experiment more visible, they switched to a green-colored liquid. The result was the same. The liquid was clearly split into two parts. So, how is this possible? The secret lies in the knife and the paper used. Both had been coated with a super hydrophobic material. This technique mimics the lotus leaf effect, which has many tiny rough structures and a waxy surface that repels water. After spraying the knife with this material, water couldn't adhere to the blade, allowing it to be sliced cleanly. This super hydrophobic coating is also used in daily life, for example, in waterproof clothing. Compared to normal clothes, those coated with this material resist stains much better. When ink is spilled on both types, the coated fabric stays almost clean, while the regular fabric gets heavily stained. So, what do you think? Did you learn something new today?